Welcome to my underpaid passion called YouTube. We're gonna go over the money I made in my first six months of being monetized with only about a thousand subscribers, a little bit more, and how much money you can expect to make, how you can make more money, but specifically we're gonna go over five things. Number one is my journey into being able to monetize because if you didn't know, YouTube now requires you to have 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers within a year period. And number two, we're going to talk about how much I actually made during my first six months of monetization. Number three, we're going to go over my top five performing videos and how much they made and how you can actually make more money than I did by avoiding a few things. Because sometimes even if you have way more views on a video, it can make way less money to potentially no money at all. So we're definitely going to go over that. But before I get started, please, please, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. The subscribe button will let you know when I post a new video every single Wednesday, helping you figure out adulting while I'm attempting to figure it out myself. But either way, the timestamps are also gonna be down below to the different parts of the videos, those five little things we talked about, but I recommend watching it fully through to understand how one thing relates to another. But let me stop talking about all that and get into what my stats are. So as of right now, I have about 1,500 subscribers. So clearly that's not that many subscribers. And whenever people ask me how many subscribers I have, I'm a little bit embarrassed by the number, but I'm also proud by the number because it took me a while to get there. And I got 68,558 views in the last six months of being monetized and 118,934 views in the last 365 days of this last year. Now, I have been doing YouTube for a while. Uh, my first official sit down video was in October of 2019. And that is about three years ago, but I have been doing YouTube or want to do YouTube for a long time before that. I have some videos on my channel potentially that are still there from over eight years ago that I took down almost right away and put up years later when I decided to do this for real. But even when I decided to do it for real, I wasn't committing to it and being consistent. And I was only really consistent and working hard on it in this last year. So I think in this last year when I was actually being serious, trying to do topics that were going to perform well, that were good quality, putting a lot more work and effort into them, it took me about six months to be monetized. And I think it's pretty standard to, you know, if six months of real consistent work can get you to monetization. I think that is realistic. And then I had the last six months where I actually had the ability to monetize and make money on my videos. It was super exciting because I really questioned if I was ever going to get to that point. So so let's go over those first six months. I started to be able to monetize in April of 2022, aka this year. I was questioning what year it was for a moment, but either way, it was not right away. It was about April 7th. That was when I was able to start making money. So that month I made a total of $14.69, not counting those seven beginning days because I wasn't making any money during those first seven days. And the lowest day I made 32 cents a day. That was the lowest. And on the high end, I made $1.48. Now we're going to go through each month in that similar mindset. So in May, I made $26.09. Thank goodness it was going up in a pretty good amount when you consider how much each individual thing makes. Going from $14.69 to $26.09 is a pretty good increase. And the low was $0.36, cents, a high of $2.32. Now in June, it was an increase up to $31.44, a low of 60 cents and a high of $2.17 a day. Now July discouraged me a little. One, I did miss an upload, I believe, or two. So I know that played a part in it. But I don't know, I was just a little bit more discouraged on my channel during that month. It was also my birthday month and I think I was just feeling like, oh, I wish I was further along. But either way, that month I made $30.72 with a low of 50 cents and a high of $2.69. Now August, I started to get back on my game and I made $31.45, a low of 52 cents and a high of $4.09. So it's definitely going up on my highest amount I made in a day. Now September, aka this month, which is not completely over. So I will be making a little bit more money than this, but it is almost over. Currently it is October, sorry, October. 
<laughs> it's not October yet. It is September 26 and it's about two days behind on letting me know how much I'm gonna make. And so far I've made $55.30. So I am much happier with that amount and it is a low of 58 cents a day and a high of $6.56 a day. So that is way better than the dollar something high we had before. So it seems like my daily highs are gonna be better and the daily highs are usually because that's when I'm getting a bunch of views. It's either when I uploaded it or when all of a sudden algorithm picked it up and showed it to more people, which isn't always right away. Now, I think that is a great viewpoint. That's what a lot of these videos go over is just how much they made in the first six months, what it looks like. But I feel like the individual videos make up a large percentage of that money and a large percentage of why it was the way it was. So I decided to mix it up a little and tell you guys my top five performing videos. And that will be for views and actually for money. Now, I cannot discuss all of the five videos that are my top watched ones but I will put them on the screen. But I am not gonna risk having this not be able to monetize because of that. So my top five watch videos were one, trying something new, two, a video on seeking arrangements, three, downtown LA apartment hunting, four, an adult discussion that we're not gonna discuss in this video, and five, a video on feet finders. It was actually the second video and that video did a lot better than the first one even though they're very, very similar, but I'm glad the second one performed a lot better. So now those are the top watched videos. Now let's talk about the top earned videos. Now some of these videos might have made more money if they were uploaded when it was when I was able to monetize, but some of them were uploaded before I was able to monetize. So those top five videos are number one comes in is Seeking Arrangements, and that video made about $40 so far. Number two is the video on Feet Finders. It has made over $35 and climbing, thank goodness. Number three is Santa Monica Apartment Hunting at $14, about. Number four is Hollywood Apartment Hunting at about $12 and Downtown LA Apartment Hunting at $10. So you can obviously notice a trend. A lot of my views and my money earned to my channel come from either controversial topics or apartment hunting videos because who doesn't love those? I love those so much and I love doing them so I definitely wanna be able to do them more in the future. But that aside, that's not what this video is about. But I feel like there is a few factors in why there's certain videos that were the top watched and certain videos that were the top paid videos and how those are different. Now those are a few factors but one of the main ones that I wanna to talk to you about and the biggest one I noticed that caused a video with over 20,000 views in the last six months to only make me 83 three cents and a video with a little bit over 5,000 views to make me over $35 and growing at a pretty good rate. And that is the ability to monetize because that is the main way you are going to make money on YouTube in the beginning if you're not doing like partnerships or anything like that or sponsored videos. You're going to make videos off of the ads on your video, but not every video can have ads on it. So before I was able to monetize and before YouTube had you do this self check process, which basically when you upload your video, you'll get to a screen where it has you like go through all these things and make sure, oh, my video doesn't have any of these things or it does have some. So it might limit my ads but either way before you weren't really going through and individually like looking at this information so I didn't really care that much about it and especially since I wasn't able to monetize so I was like whatever I had zero filter and I kind of liked that better in a way but that top performing video on my channel should be making me way more money but unfortunately it doesn't because it's stuck with limited ads which I would have known nowadays with the whole process that you go through i probably would have still uploaded it because it's still doing great on my channel it's still the top watched video with over 50,000 views on it i'm still grateful for that video but i don't make basically any money off it which is kind of unfortunate because i probably make that 35 dollars or more on it but there are no ads on it but either way that limited ads for me personally and in most cases means that you're only going to make money off of that video if people with YouTube Premium watch your video. But the problem is, one, there's not that many people with YouTube Premium. Two, YouTube Premium doesn't even pay you that much because it's not paying you a percentage of an ad, it's paying you a percentage of what they pay for YouTube Premium, which isn't that high in the first place. So it doesn't make that much of a difference, AK meaning 83 cents for over 20,000 views is not 
not good. That's like doing other social media platforms that pay a lower amount. But YouTube is known to pay higher. And that's only if it's not stuck in the category of limited ads. So with all of that said, my top three tips to you if you want to make more money on your videos once you're able to start monetizing is number one, make monetization friendly content and it is more strict than you thought. I didn't realize doing something legal in my state would cause my video to not be able to have ads on it. So keep that in mind. And number two is certain things have higher CPM, which is basically how much you get paid for views. There's more math into it. We can discuss CPM and all that in another time, but either way, there are certain video topics that will make you more money for the same amount of views, same amount of ads, just because they get paid higher. The companies pay higher to have those ads on your video. A very common one is anything to do with money, financing, banking, bank, banking, 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 everything money has a tendency of having a higher CPM. I notice that on my channel all the time, anything about banks, credit cards, all that makes me way more money. And number three is 18 plus content. You cannot make money off of it. So, so literally just know that you will not be able to monetize. You will not be able to get YouTube premiums. There's literally nothing. It is completely taken away from ads. You can't even get that YouTube premium, which is kind of unfortunate and silly. With that said, I would say that you probably should stick with content that is not 18 plus unless it is sponsored or you really, really want to do it because you won't even make that 83 cents. So overall, I personally made $134.39 and just under six months and my top five videos made up $112.19 of that earnings. So basically I need to step up my game and make it so my other videos are performing and making as much money as those top five videos because those five videos were basically all of the money I made in the last six months. And I hope I do, but I also don't want to niche myself down too much or over talk about a topic to the point where it gets a little bit stale. Um, and overall, I'm playing the long game on this, and I know a lot of people don't. And I'm also doing this because it's a passion, not as a way to make money. Because after all, I would never take a job that pays me under $150 a day, let alone under $150 in six months. So clearly, it is a passion. It is not for the money. But if you want to help me out at all, again, hitting those like and subscribe button makes a huge difference. And checking out my other videos also helps. They also help you because I post a new video every single Wednesday helping you figure out adulting while well, I'm attempting to figure it out myself. Now I hope that you get to the ability to be able to monetize and I hope that your growth is even higher than mine, your CPM is higher, your ability to make money is even better and I see a bright future for you and for myself because I can tell my channel is bumping up there and things are doing better and I'm making more money slowly but surely. And I will definitely do a follow-up video on potentially that video that's kind of blowing up right now and has already made $35 pretty darn quickly. So I will definitely do follow-up videos on my analytics, how CPM works, how my channel does after a year. If any channels blow up extremely, I'll go into all the math and how much they made, what the views were, why I think it worked, and other videos didn't. We'll talk about so many things in the future, but for now, I hope you have a great rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you. I'll see you Wednesday.